Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna try to do something a little bit interesting today. I'm gonna try to do some aluminum welding with my normal welder without a spool gun. So I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So I picked up some aluminum welding wire, 35 thousandths, and I picked up some new tips at 45 thousandths. So the idea here is to use a uh, this is my thought process on this, anyways. Yeah. What's up? Were you going to show me that monster truck coffee? Yeah, sure. You want to go see monster trucks next month? Yeah. Okay, we'll go. All right. We're going to go see monster trucks. All right, so I got some 35 thousandths. I picked up the 35 thousandths because it's a little bit thicker, so hopefully it'll be stiff enough. And the bigger contact tips, uh, so it won't snag or catch inside there and buckle up and bind. So we're going to do that. We'll install it. We'll try to do some welding. I want to see if this is going to work because when I do the cold side and the aluminum piping, I guarantee I'm going to have to cut and try to make some stuff fit with that. So I'm kind of preparing for when I'm doing that so I can make the tubing that I have work. So let's try it and see if we succeed or if we fail. All right. So I have the aluminum wire on kind of loose. I don't know. The wire's a lot softer. So we'll hook it up, see if we can get it to go through the gun. So that's a good sign. Got some wire coming out. So now I successfully made it all the way through the tip. All right, so here is the 45 thousandths electrode tip. I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside here. Get it all the way in, thread it down. And then the next step is just gonna be to insert it over the gun. Thread this back on. And should be good to go. Just got a piece of uh, old aluminum down. We'll give it a whirl. I don't know how this is going to work or if it's going to work or how well it's going to work. We'll try it. That's all we can do. So that's a start. So got this thing welded up. Pretty nice. Ended up going and buying a tank. So I uh, bought a little 20 cubic foot tank, I believe it is. This little guy right here. So this is my normal tank. Uh, this is just the argon tank. So pretty small. I'll probably just keep it under here. Uh, it'll probably last me, you know, 10 years for the amount of welding that I do on aluminum, which is never. But here's the uh, beads that I just did. Now let's check it out. I'll show you one. Penetration is good. Um, 
penetration is always real good when you're welding like this. Good stuff. Actually, take a look inside the welder and explain a couple things. Um, so this tensioner here puts the tension on the wire to push it through as this drive wheel pushes the wire. Um, I have this set kind of loose. It's at like a one and a half right now. I usually have it at like a three or almost all the way down. So basically if it does start to catch or snag or anything, this wheel is going to spin on the wire before it actually crushes the wire and, and jams it up. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Another thing I was doing was uh, kind of keeping the wire sticking out pretty far with a high wire speed. Um, when I was just doing that welding before I had it on a 3 and wire speed was at 90, oh, just about 90. So wire speed's pretty high for the voltage. Um, but the metal's really soft so as it, as it does arc it, it really takes off a lot of material. And if you get it too close then it'll snag and kind of weld itself in there and that's when it'll bunch up inside the machine. Alright guys, so that's about it. Uh, welding aluminum without a spool gun. So I didn't really want to buy a spool gun. Um, didn't have to. So just got a little bit thicker wire so it doesn't bunch up as easy inside the machine. Run the drive wheel pretty loose and buy a contact tip that's bigger than the wire uh, and it goes through pretty nicely. I did jam it up a few times trying to get everything set right. Just playing around with it. Um, but and it's probably going to happen here and there where it jams up. I guess that's part of the game. So now I can weld aluminum and kind of opens the door to a lot of other projects. I don't know how much I'm going to use it or need it, but uh, I have the ability to do it now and I'm a little more confident in it. So uh, it always opens the door. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out some of the projects and have a good day.